Hi everyone, in this video we'll learn how to download datasets with wget. In previous videos I've shown how to pull datasets from GitHub and Kaggle. This time we'll look how to pull datasets from different websites. What I'm going to do is I'm going to import pandas, which we're going to use to read in our data, and I'm also going to import the platform module. Let's first review what wget is. wget is a software package for retrieving files using HTTP, HTTPS, FTP, and FTPS internet protocols. It is a non-interactive command line tool, meaning the package can be called from script. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the platform module to take a look at the operating system that this Google Colab session is using. We can see here that we are running Linux in this Google Colab session. What that means is that we'll have the wget, which is a GNU software package. What we'll do first is we're going to download data into our current directory. If I go to this folder here, we have our contents folder. This is where we'll download our data set. Let's go back. And I can check this by starting with an exclamation point, followed by pwd to get our working directory and we can see it is the content folder. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the website where I'm going to download the data. I can see that we have this FDIC failed bank list, and we can go to this download and we can right click, and then what I could do is copy link address. Once we go back, I'm going to start with an exclamation point followed by wget, and then finally, I am going to input the web address that is going to download the CSV file into our content folder. And once we run this, this will output some information, including how long it takes in case that you have a larger data set. Let's go into our folder. We can see that we have banklet, the bank list downloaded here. I'm going to use pandas to bring up the data set. We can see that we have our data set here, and I had to specify a specific encoding in order to read this data set into pandas. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to download a data set into a specified directory using wget. What I'm going to do in our content folder is create a new folder, and I'm going to start with an exclamation point, and I'm going to say mkdir, and I'm going to name our folder data folder. We can see on the left side here that we were able to create our folder. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the website that I want to download the data from. And we can see here that we have the CSV file. Like before, I am going to get the address. I'm going to use wget. I am going to paste the address for to download the data. Next, what I'm going to do is I am going to put a dash p and what this will do is it will specify the folder that we are going to download into. I'll take this and I'm going to hit the three buttons here. I'm going to copy path. Then I am going to paste it after the P. If we take a look inside of our data folder, we can see that we were able to download the data set. Let's re read this into a pandas data frame. And we have our data set saved into a pandas data frame. Finally, what I will do is we're going to take a look at how to download multiple data sets. Let's go to the Census Bureau's website, and we can see that we have a bunch of different data sets. Let's say that I want the SAPE state and county estimates, but I just don't want it for 2021. I also want it for 2020, as well as 2019 and 2018. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create a list here that contains all of the web addresses to download those CSV files. Now that I have my list, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a text file, which we're going to read with wget. The way that we do this is I am going to say with open, and then we're going to specify the name of the text file that we're creating. I'll call it URL list. Using open, this will create our URL list text file, and we need to specify w, that means we're going to write to it, and we're going to name the variable txt within Python. Next, I'm going to iterate over this URL list with a for loop. Finally, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the text and then write to it. 
And what I'm doing here is I am writing, I'm using string formatting to put in the URL, then I'm going to include a line break, which is this dash n. Let's run this. We created our text file. We can take a look at it within our directory and I can download it. We can take a look. And we have our URLs for each of the data sets for each of the different years. I'm going to call on wget again. This time I'm specifying dash i, and I am going to go into our folder. We're going to get the path for our URL list, and wget is going to read each of those URL files and save them into our directory. We can see that we have these files saved now. So what I could do is I could just read two of them into a pandas data frame to illustrate that we successfully downloaded them. And we have our data sets here. I have to specify that I'm skipping two rows because for this data set, there's a two lines that we want to skip in order to get our columns read in. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope that this video was helpful. I included links where you can find more data either from census.org.gov and different websites if you want to play around and try out the wget function. If you like the video, feel free to like and subscribe. You can also connect with me on LinkedIn, Twitter, GitHub, Medium, and Odyssey. Thanks everyone for watching and happy coding.